मॉर्निंग सर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग कैन यू गेट योर रेज्यूमे यस सर पुरुषोत्तम मुखंडी यस सर कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सर Yes, sir. this is Pushottam. I have completed my graduation in Narayan Engineering College in mechanical stream. After completion of my graduation, I have joined in a Bricks India Private Limited as a uh, final inspection supervisor. After that, I have joined in uh, Bharti International Private Limited as an industrial engineer. Before eight months only, I have left the job due to interest in the software field. And um, after leaving the job, I have learned the uh, .NET technology. That's it, sir. Okay. So you have done B.Tech in mechanical, right? Yes, sir. So why you are getting into software? Due to the interest, uh, I want to make my profession as my interest. Due to that, I have came to software field. No question. Sure. So uh, getting into technical. Yes, sir. What are data types? Data types we have reference and value type. Value type is of a fixed length. In that we have int, short, double, float. In the reference type, we have object under string. It is a variable length type. What is an object? Object uh, we will create for uh, non-static classes and non-static methods. If you want to call those methods, we need to create the object to allocate memory to the class. And the object we will create by, uh, with the help of class name. We will create the object. Okay. Mm. What are conditional statements? Conditional statements we have um, if conditions, which, if else. And uh, for looping, we have for and for each loop. When we will use for? You, if you want to iterate continuously from a, a n number of times, if you know that uh, how many times you need to be iterate condition, in that case, you will use for loops. When we will use for each? For each also for same thing only. But uh, for each, we will use in um, arrays concepts. Arrays and... Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. So, what is state management technique in ASP.NET? State management techniques, it is used to maintain the state within the page or uh, outside the page. Or within the page, we, in that we have client side and server side. In that client side, we have value type, uh, field variable, and the cookies, and query string. In server side, we have uh, some session state and application state. Uh, when we will go for session? If you want to maintain the state uh, from one page to another page, like uh, for every page, we will, session ID will be various. In that case, we will use session state management. What is the default timeout for session? Oh, current light of 30 seconds. Uh, we can change it? Yes, sir, we can change it. Yes, we know. Uh, what are validation controls and why we use them? Validation control we will use to validate the client set. Whatever the client entered in the controls, we need to validate that uh, it is in empty or not. For that case, we will use the validation controls. In that, we have different types. We have required feed validator, regular expression validator, and the range validator, compare validator, like so. Required feed validator, we use to check the emptiness, what he entered or not. A regular expression to for current check the current format, and range to within the range is there or not. For that, we will use uh, validations. Okay. That we have client side and server side, both we can use. Okay. Validations. Okay. So, validations, uh, what is the default properties like we use? Uh, validations. Uh, common for validations, common properties. We have ID, we have, and uh, event, we have control to validate event. Yes. yes. So, so, what is the uh, event for control to compare? Control to compare, we will use in a range, um, compare. Oh, control to compare, sir. If you want to control two validators, in that case, we will use compare to validate. Okay. So, under what is an array when we will use for, uh, when we will go for array? Uh, generally, we use array if we want to store the similar data type values, we will go for arrays. And that uh, within the same variable, we can use multiple variables we can store. In that case, we will go for arrays. What is the default value, index based value for arrays? Zero. It will start from zero onwards. Okay. So if any elements are there, what will be the count? N minus one. Okay. Now, uh, when we will go for uh, encapsulation? Encapsulation, we will go for, if you want to give access. In that case, we will go for encapsulation. In that, we have uh, access modifiers, public, uh, static, uh, public, private, and uh, internal. We have different access modifier like that. If you want to give access from one class to one class or one project to another project, we will go for uh, access modifiers. So, Encapsulation, yeah. uh, binding the data into yes. once. So what is the abstraction and when you will go for it? 
abstraction we have if you want if you know the some methods or if um, some methods are implemented and some methods are not implemented in the, in that at least one method need to be non implemented methods needs to be there for a abstract, if you want to define abstract class there should be abstract keyword need to be defined in class in method also we need to be use the keyword abstract after interface uh, abstraction interface interface it is a bonding between the client and the developer whatever the methods he he will discuss with us we need to be compulsory we need to implement those methods in that we no need to use uh, abstract keyword because all the methods are in uh, interface all are uh, abstract methods only and we no need to use the abstract keyword also for class we will use in, instead of that we will use the interface what is an sql server SQL Server is a database. If you want to connect to the front end, from front end to back end, whatever the data entered by the client, if you want to store, uh, for that we use the data type. In that we have different data types. Uh, for Microsoft, in general, we use uh, SQL Server. Uh, if you want to retrieve and read the data, for that uh, we use SQL Server. Okay. So, what are the different types we have under SQL? Different types. Uh, queries types, sir. DM data definition language and the data manipulation language, data transaction and data control language. Yes. So when you will go for data manipulation language? If you want to manipulate a, a table, in that case we use for a data manipulation language. We have in that we have update query we have. And, uh, so what is the difference between delete, delete and delete, delete and delete? Delete means it will recover, it will delete the entire record record only. And if you go for truncate. Uh, it is also delete uh, records only. Difference between CLR, I mean, what exactly CLR? Why we use CLR in our programming? So, why we use the CLR means uh, if you want to uh, uh, write a code in any language, if you want to convert into a common language type, we use the CLR. In that we have common language runtime. In that we have a common type system. We have common specification system and uh, garbage collection. We have with the help of those things, and the execution engine, which is known by CLR, uh, and um, JIT just in time. It will convert over from my Microsoft Intermediate Code to source mission code. With the help of these things, we will convert to Microsoft Intermediate Language. What is the difference between managed and unmanaged code? Managed code means uh, we will write the C sharp code in uh, within our .NET application. Unmanaged code means uh, if you write uh, any C player, Java code in another program, and then we are importing that uh, code into our language. In that case, it is an unmanaged code because we cannot uh, implement any Thing. Only we can uh, convert from import and we'll convert to source code. We cannot manage that one, so it will call it as unmanaged. Code. Okay. Uh, garbage collector, what is its use? Garbage collector, if we have objects we have, we will use. If, if we create the object, if you not use in that object, it uh, it will uh, we have memory when we are creating the object. If you don't use that object, uh, the memory space we need to be clear. With the help, defaultly, it is a finalized method will be there in garbage collector. In default, it will free the space for objects if you don't use that one. Okay. What is exception handling in C sharp? In exception handling, we have whenever an uh, interruption we get while writing the code, we will call it as exceptions. In that, we have compile time exemptions we have. And if we call the exceptions in the runtime, we will call it as a runtime exemptions. Okay. Yes. Uh, how many try blocks can we use? Try blocks. Can use one. Okay. How many cache blocks can we use? Cache block also, sir. With the parent class is exception is a parent class for all the exceptions. So you can use multiple cache blocks so yes, that sir. you can write different. So oh, different exceptions, yes. Yes. So, so what are the um, like when we go for overloading and when we go for overriding concepts? Overriding will go for uh, if you have same different parameters we have console dot write line we have. In that 16 methods we have. In that we have, we will use a uh, overriding methods. In that overloading, if we have already we have, they are defined the method. If you want to implement new logic in that one, we will go for overriding methods. What is a polymorphism? Polymorphism. If if you given the different types of inputs, we will get the different types of outputs with the help of polymorphism. For that one, we will use polymorphism. Yes. Very well. So I know you answered good, but still you need to improve your uh, technical skills in order to get. Uh, like with good examples. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Sir.